Good morning from Boston. My name is TK and this is my wife Wong. We are in downtown Boston. We're gonna spend a few days here. Uh, we got what we have planned, like a walking historical tour. We're gonna go check out the duck boat and uh, maybe visit a distillery, walking around. And uh, I'm just here for the food. Let's go eat lobster. Lots of good food. Let's go check it out. The first activity we have is the Boston Duck Tour. The meetup point we chose was at the New England Aquarium. on the duck boat. <laughs> Enjoy your tour of Boston. Good morning everybody, welcome to Boston Duck Tours. This is a bus that drives on land and in the water. First they take us around in the city and then into the Charles River. 50 years old, it's the second largest teapot in Boston. It holds 227 gallons and two quarts. It's a literal bay. This was all water at one time. Europeans colonized this area. Boston used to be one and a half square miles. I don't want to spoil it for you, but the furniture never made it. The American Revolutionary War Memorial. and hold you will throw your hands in the air like a roller coaster. Prepare for it. He's going to do it in three, two, one. Which one is which? I have the lobster fisk. Nice. 
lobster bisque, lobster roll, stuffed clam, stuffed scallop, crab cakes. Yummy, let's dig in. All right, let's rewind a little bit. We arrived in Boston two days ago in the evening time. We checked into a hotel which was located in Seaport District, the south side of the Boston waterfront. This hotel is called Yotel. We got a room with a king-size bed. The room itself is a bit small, but the decor is nice and modern with all the amenities you need. After checking into the hotel, we walked across the short bridge and took a stroll around downtown Boston. If you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate your support and we will continue to produce more content like this and show you all of our adventures. Back to today in the city. After having lunch, we went to get some coffee before our next activity, which involves a lot of walking. It's coffee time. At the Boston Common. This is a lovely park in the middle of downtown Boston. We are doing the Freedom Trail historical uh, walking tour. Um, we are heading to the starting point inside this park. Uh, we downloaded this app called the Freedom Trail Tour and uh, for only $10 you get a GPS guided audio tour uh, that tells you all the historical landmarks and etc. So we're going to go do that and then uh, we'll see you later. Following the marked trail. Okay, we're a little bit tipsy from those cocktails, but we're gonna continue the tour. Let's go this way, go that way. to cut the Freedom Trail walking tour short because we were running out of time. Now we are heading to the Bully Boy Distillers to do a distillery tour and drink some more. 
All right, so we're here at the Bullet Boy Distillers. Uh, we got here a few minutes late because the, the hotel valet took like over 30 minutes to get a car. So hopefully they'll still let us in and um, hopefully we get to try some different liquors. technical and scientific word for it, and this is true, is the bung hole. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's called the bung hole. The bung hole? Yep. Hi <laughs> All right, that was fun. We got a tour of the distillery. We got to try different types of liquor. Um, we drank a little bit, not too much. But now we're gonna go out for dinner. What's for dinner? Oh my gosh, hey. let's go. Last day in Boston, we got half a day. Uh, we're gonna go get some brunch, check out the Boston public market, uh, maybe Chinatown, and then that's pretty much it. We're gonna return a car rental and uh, head home. Boston cream pancake. Lobster We're in Boston Chinatown, the third largest Chinatown in the US. Lobster. Lobster. 
lobster mac and cheese. Clam chowder. And what's this? I don't usually like mac and cheese, but when it's elevated like this with the lobster, it's really good. Lobster. Boston Logan International Airport. We just dropped off the uh, car rental, uh, dropped off the luggage that we checked in, and now we're heading to a lounge where we're gonna spend a couple hours because our flight is delayed. Um, so let's go enjoy some free food and drinks at the lounge. After some good food and drinks at the lounge, it was time to board our flight home. We got to choose the exit row where I had a ton of legroom, which was nice. Well, that's it for this trip. Boston offered us a lot of fun and there's still so much more to see. We'll definitely consider visiting again next time we come back to the East Coast. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.